Hello my friends. This is a map of beautiful Quebec. Located in the eastern part of Canada, Quebec occupies a territory nearly three times the size of France or Texas. Most of Quebec is very sparsely populated. The most populous physiographic region is the Great Lakes Street, Lawrence Lowlands. The combination of rich soils and Quebec's relatively warm climate makes this valley the most prolific agricultural area of Quebec. The rural part of the landscape is divided into narrow rectangular tracts of land that extend from the river and date back to the seigneurial system. Quebec's topography is very different from one region to another due to the varying composition of the ground, the climate, and the proximity to water. More than 95% of Quebec's territory, including the Labrador Peninsula, lies within the Canadian Shield. It is generally a quite flat and exposed mountainous terrain interspersed with higher points such as the Laurentian Mountains in southern Quebec. The Odish Mountains in central Quebec and the Tornyat Mountains near Ungava Bay. While low and medium altitude peaks extend from western Quebec to the far north, High altitudes mountains emerge in the Capitale Nationale region to the extreme east. Quebec's highest point at 1,652 meters is Mont Iberville, known in English as Mount Kobvik. In the Labrador Peninsula portion of the shield, the far northern region of Nunavik includes the Ungava Peninsula and consists of flat Arctic tundra inhabited mostly by the Inuit. Further south is the eastern Canadian Shield Taiga ecoregion and the central Canadian Shield forests. The Appalachian region has a narrow strip of ancient mountains along the southeastern border of Quebec. Michel's Falls on Ashwaif Mushwan River in St. Felician, Sagune Lac St. Jean are nice too. Excuse me. Please comment if you love Quebec. Continuing. Quebec has one of the world's largest reserves of fresh water. Occupying 12% of its surface and representing 3% of the world's renewable fresh water. More than half a million lakes and 4,500 rivers empty into the Atlantic Ocean. Through the Gulf of St. Lawrence and the Arctic Ocean, by James, Hudson, and Ungava Bays. The largest inland body of water is the Caniapascau Reservoir. Lake Mistassini is the largest natural lake. The St. Lawrence River has some of the world's largest sustaining inland Atlantic ports. Since 1959, the St. Lawrence Seaway has provided a navigable link between the Atlantic Ocean and the Great Lakes. The public lands of Quebec cover approximately 92% of the Québécois territory, including almost all of the bodies of water. Protected areas can be classified into about 20 different legal designations, x. Exceptional forest ecosystem, protected marine environment, national park, biodiversity reserve, wildlife reserve, zoned exploitation control a, zec, etc. More than 2,500 sites in Quebec today are protected areas. As of 2013, Protected areas comprise 9.14% of the Québécois territory. In general, the climate of Quebec is cold and humid, with variations determined by latitude, maritime and elevation influences. Because of the influence of both storm systems from the core of North America and the Atlantic Ocean, precipitation is abundant throughout the year. With most areas receiving more than 1,000 mm of precipitation, including over 300 cm of snow in many areas. During the summer, severe weather patterns, such as tornadoes and severe thunderstorms, occur occasionally. That's all for now. Thanks for listening. Please subscribe for the best maps and for the love of Quebec. Goodbye.